Do you believe that truth can exist, even when no one believes it? That's exactly what Max Planck did. He challenged the very foundation of classical physics and changed how we see reality. But behind every scientific breakthrough was a man tested by rejection, loss, and resistance. This isn't just about science. It's about how silence, persistence, and inner strength can move the universe. Max Planck was born in 1858 in Germany. A brilliant student, yet humble, Planck wasn't looking for fame. He simply wanted to understand the laws that govern nature. But in the late 1800s, physics was considered almost complete scientists believed there was nothing new to discover. Planck disagreed. He introduced a radical idea. Energy is released in small discrete packets, quanta. This concept laid the foundation for quantum theory. But almost no one believed him at first. Even Einstein later said, Planck is a man who does not run with the crowd. And while his theories were slowly gaining traction, Max Planck faced personal heartbreak. He lost his wife, then two of his children. And during World War II, he saw his country and science corrupted. His son was executed for opposing Hitler. Yet, through it all, Planck never gave up. He kept believing in unseen truths. He kept trusting in reason, integrity, and the silent strength of the human spirit. So today, let's hear not just the science, but the soul of Max Planck. His words still echo. Through labs, through minds, and through the hearts of anyone who refuses to give up. If you believe in thinking differently, in standing firm, even when you're doubted, this video is for you. Hit the like button if you've ever been misunderstood for speaking the truth. Subscribe for more powerful wisdom from history's greatest minds. And now, let's hear the timeless words of the father of quantum theory himself, Max Planck. Science cannot solve the ultimate mystery of nature. New scientific truth does not triumph by convincing its opponents, but rather because its opponents eventually die. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. An experiment is a question which science poses to nature, and a measurement is the recording of nature's answer. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force. We must assume behind this force the existence of a conscious and intelligent mind. Over the entrance to the gates of the Temple of Science are written the words, The Must Have Faith. We have no right to assume that any physical laws exist, or if they have existed up to now, that they will continue to exist in a similar manner in the future. Insight must precede application. Scientific discovery and scientific knowledge have been achieved only by those who have gone in pursuit of it without any practical purpose whatsoever in view. It is impossible to make a clear cut between science, religion, and philosophy. The real nature of science is bound up with religion and ethics. The more we probe into matter, the more we realize that matter does not exist in the way we used to think. In all my research, I never came across a conflict between science and religion. Whence come I and whither go I? That is the great unfathomable question. Science cannot solve the ultimate mystery because we ourselves are part of the mystery we are trying to solve. A scientific truth is not defined by consensus. We must be clear that when it comes to atoms, language can be used only as in poetry. Every advance in knowledge brings us face to face with the mystery of our being. Science progresses not by the accumulation of facts, but by the emergence of new ideas. Real breakthroughs are born of intuition. The true scientist never loses the childlike wonder at the universe. Mind is the matrix of all matter. 
No matter how many experiments confirm a theory, it is always open to falsification. The desire to understand the universe is as old as humanity itself. Belief in the uniformity of nature is the foundation of scientific inquiry. What we see is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. Without mystery, there can be no science. The scientist must appear as a man of imagination. Knowledge is inseparable from the knower. There is no objective reality independent of the observer. It is not the facts themselves, but the interpretation of them, that form science. A scientific worldview must be open to revision. To deny the spiritual dimension is to deny a part of reality. Science without humility leads to arrogance. The history of science is the history of revised errors. The nature of light reveals the duality of existence. There is no shortcut to scientific understanding. Nature hides her secrets because of her essential loftiness, not because of trickery. A mind stretched by new knowledge can never return to its original dimensions. We do not see things as they are, but as we are. It is not knowledge, but the act of learning that grants freedom. <laughs>